What is actually the difference between the padding modifier and the content padding parameter of a lazy column in Jetpack Compose? Let's find out. This padding modifier here is applied after clipping the contents of the lazy column. So that means after Compose decided where your items will be positioned on the screen, this padding will be applied. However, this content padding parameter, this padding values here, is applied before clipping. So this is applied to the children of the lazy column, but not to the content as a whole of the lazy column. It's probably best if we try this out and see what happens. Let's remove this padding modifier here, and after launching, we will see that if we scroll this, the text goes up to the completely top of our screen. While everything is still padded, you can see here we have 32dp and here we have 32dp. If we, however, have this padding modifier and get rid of the content padding and then take a look in our emulator, then you will see that the content of our lazy column is actually cut off here because the whole lazy column's content is moved into the middle by 32dp. So using this modifier is as if you'd make the whole lazy column smaller, while the content padding only applies to the children and not to the lazy column itself. Do you like these Android and Kotlin tips? If yes, follow for more.